Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk to you about the DuckDuckGo web browser, which is the web browser I have up on the screen right now. And in the past, I have talked about other privacy browsers such as Brave, Mulvad, LibreWolf, and Waterfox. But I do want to talk about DuckDuckGo here just a little bit because a lot of people are familiar or at least have heard of the DuckDuckGo search engine. And I want to talk about what sets this browser apart from some of the other browsers that I've mentioned down below. So the first thing to note is depending on which operating system you use this browser is going to determine which engine it is built on. For example, if you're using this browser on Android or Windows, it's going to be built on Blink, which is Chromium based. If you're using this on iOS or Mac OS, it's going to be built on WebKit, which is the same thing Safari is built on. And that kind of dives into the first reason you might be interested in using this browser is if you aren't interested in using Firefox based web browsers and for whatever reason, Brave is not doing it for you. This is an alternative Chromium based web browser you can use if you are on Windows or Android, or if you're on Mac OS and you just like Safari and want something that could be a little bit similar to that, but even a little bit more private, this is another alternative. Additionally, if you are the type of user looking for a very simplified, clean browser, this is going to be for you. And it is absolutely simplified. When you click on the menu up here in the top right, at first glance, it looks like it has all the options you find in other browsers, but there's some key things missing here. For example, there's no extension support, which is good and bad. If you're using a browser that's built around privacy and security, not installing extensions can benefit because extensions are terrible for privacy and security, but there can be legitimate reasons to add an extension. For example, if you have a password manager that includes an extension, that might discourage you from using this web browser because it's not going to be compatible. You might also be considering an ad blocker like uBlock Origin. DuckDuckGo will block most ads, but it's probably not as aggressive as what you would get from uBlock Origin. If I actually pull up a website such as CNN and Google Chrome, we can see we've got ads up here, we've got ads down here, and then if I pull up that exact same website in a private window in DuckDuckGo, we can see that there's no ads and those are being blocked. Additionally, if you go to something like YouTube, it's going to prompt you to use the Duck Player to watch without targeted ads. I have noticed occasionally an ad will get through, but we're going to go ahead and click on Turn on Duck Player. And it basically works the same way as if you went to DuckDuckGo.com, searched for a video underneath the Videos tab. It's basically the exact same feature. Other things that you will notice missing from this browser is you can't change the default search engine. At least I can't find an option to change it. It will always be Duck go now for those who enjoy using DuckDuckGo as their search engine, that's going to be perfect. If you're someone who wants to use a different privacy oriented search engine, that's not going to be an option. You're actually going to have to go to the website to be able to search alternatively. And if I actually open up the settings, we can see on the left hand side, we have our privacy protections. There is a paid privacy pro. I'm not going to put a plug for that. But as you go down these options, they're very bare bones, very simplified. You're not going to find anything specific for security, which for some people is going to be good or bad. Some people want to be able to harden the browser specific to their needs. You will find data clearing, which you can set to be on automatically settings for the duck player which we just talked about but that's really it there isn't a whole lot of settings or options compared to other browsers now you will find duck AI which is this option right here in the address bar if I click on that now for those of you who have heard anything about AI you may already know that it can be a huge privacy and security concern some of the best ways to mitigate that is one just don't use AI which a lot of people are going to say that's not an option because you're going to get behind you can host your own LLMs but again that takes time and learning and money. And so if you trust DuckDuckGo, they claim to anonymize your usage of AI with different models. If we click on give it a try, you can read through the privacy policy. I do recommend that you do that. Please notate meta platforms here at the bottom. And then you can click on I agree. And you can select different models that you want to use from this menu. Again, you're putting your trust in DuckDuckGo to keep this private and secure. That's up to you if you want to trust them. One of the things that made Duck DuckDuckGo popular was the ability to hit a button to clear everything out of the browser. So for example, if I open up a new page, I can hit this little fire icon in the top right and it will clear everything. 
gives you an animation. And then for private browsing, it's just gonna be the new fire window. That's the equivalent to incognito or private window. So to recap, who would I recommend use this? Someone who is looking for something that is not based on Firefox, who wants something clean and very simple, privacy oriented, and just wants to get in and out very quickly. People who shouldn't use this are people who are looking for customization. If your password manager includes an extension, or if you're looking for more aggressive ad blocking, you're not gonna be able to do that here. But please let me know what you think of this browser. Please leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month, the thanks button, the subscribe button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.